Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to show you how to find top dead center for cylinder number one. And so basically that's where the piston is at the top of its stroke. It's going to do that on the compression stroke and the exhaust stroke. And so uh, the key will be looking at the uh, crankshaft pulley. But first make sure the car's in neutral. You're going to take an 18 millimeter socket, and then what you're going to do is put it right on the crankshaft uh, bolt right there in the middle. Now as you rotate it, uh, you will look for a little notch that's cut out of the back of the crankshaft pulley. So there it is, and you can see, I believe that's 10 degrees before top dead center, and then the next mark is TDC or top dead center. Okay, so as we rotate the crankshaft, and you can rotate it in both directions, uh, so don't feel like you have to go all the way around, but uh, we'll rotate it until we get it right to that top dead center. Now, if you want to double check this method and you want to make sure the piston really is at top dead center, I'll show you how you can also do that. There's, there's many ways of doing it. You can get piston stops, rotate it till it hits it, rotate it back the opposite direction till it hits it again, draw a line in the, the middle of those two measurements, and that would tell you as well. But here's a very simple way. First, we're gonna unplug a coil pack for cylinder number one, which is the passenger side uh, front cylinder. We have a seven millimeter socket, and we're gonna take out the little screw that holds the coil pack in. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop out the coil pack. Now with a five eighths inch spark plug wrench socket, and this one has the rubber in it to hold the uh, spark plug and also make sure it doesn't fall out and to protect the porcelain. We're gonna go down and we're gonna break the spark plug loose and uh, remove it. So just be very careful doing that. Go counterclockwise and you'll be able to pull the spark plug out. Now, uh, as we rotate the crank, what I've done is take in a little magnet uh, extender here. You just wanna make sure whatever you put in here will not fall into the cylinder and where you can't get it out. So this is just a long pull. And at, what I'm doing is as I'm rotating the crank, I'm watching it rise and then eventually it will come and start to fall again. So I've sped up this footage as you can kind of see, and that's how you'll know that the pistons at top dead center, it will come up and then come back down. And so as it comes to the, the peak, you know that you're getting to top dead center. As it starts to lower, you know the pistons on the way back down. So you would basically just kind of put it between the two of those. Uh, checking this, according to the crankshaft, it was on. So I know that the dampener mark on the crankshaft pulley was correct. So anyway, that's just one of the many simple ways you can check for top dead center. Again, this is for cylinder number one. And uh, so on uh, the 96 to 04 Mustangs, at least, uh, cylinder number one is on the passenger side front. And that bank is cylinders one through four. The other side would be uh, five through eight. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please check my playlist in the video description for more videos like this. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks, guys.